Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is B and I am the Geeky Fashionista. I have something to unbox for you guys. This is Sailor Moon. I'd like to say hello to all the, the Moonies out there, all the Sailor Moon fans. I'm sure most of you have seen the, the latest Sailor Moon movie. I'm having a hard time with this. Take, um, movies, there's two. And the movie was called Sailor Moon Eternal. And this is something related to that. Oh, before anything else, what did you guys think of the movie? Did you, did you enjoy it? Well, I did. It was a very, very beautiful movie and the, the animation was wonderful and I just wish that they, it was more of a series instead of two movies or, or they could have extended each movie into two hours each or they could have added a third movie. So it will be divided, the Dreams arc or the Super S arc will be divided into three movies instead of two. Because while watching it, it makes, yeah, you can really tell that it was a rush. All of the storylines are jammed into one movie. It should have made it longer. Well, aside from that, I, I love that it stayed very faithful to the manga. Many of you may know that there, there is a huge difference between the manga, the Dreams Art manga, and the anime. It's weird because in the manga, the Dreams Art is probably my favorite arc of the Sailor Moon story, but in the anime, the Super S arc is my least favorite. It was so focused on Chibiusa that it, it seemed kind of juvenile and the, the enemies were not really well and the, the absence of the outer senshi was a huge factor as well unlike the, the manga where everyone was united all together to fight the Queen of Helenia. Now here it is. This is Sailor Moon Eternal. Sailor Moon here. Eternal Sailor Moon and the rest of the senshi, the inner senshi, and then the outer senshi in the back. This is in Japanese. Okay, now I'll be showing you guys the contents of this art book. Now this is the Sailor Moon art book, Sailor Moon Eternal, the movie art book. Crystal season four. So hopefully they will do a fifth season, which is the stars arc. And then finally, okay, let me, this is what's inside. The outer senshi with Chibusa and the inner senshi with Sailor Moon. Here they are in their eternal form. That isn't that beautiful. Sailor. So beautiful to finally see their eternal forms animated in action and in color. The three cats, Luna, Diana, Artemis, and we finally got to see Artemis, the human form in the anime, I mean in, this, in the movies. 
Super Sailor Moon, Super Sailor Chibi Moon. Their moon kaleidoscope is a lot more beautiful in the movies than in the, the original animes in the 90s. Here's the sequence for their transformation. There's Super Sailor Mercury. The reanimated version of the, her attack, Mercury Aqua Rhapsody, is more beautiful in the movie than the original anime. It's her transformation sequence. Here's Sailor Mars, Mars Flame Sniper. Her Mars Flame Sniper in the movie was impressive, very, very impressive. But the fire was so realistic and the details to the arrows was beautifully done. Here's Phoebus and Deimos, her guardians, the crows. Makoto. Jupiter Oak Evolution, it was not really, they didn't give justice to Super Sailor Jupiter. It was bad, it wasn't really good. It's her transformation, and my favorite Sailor, Super Sailor Venus. Venus Love and Beauty Shock, I love that they finally incorporated the flower chain, which was there in the original manga. It was weird that in the anime version, it was shaped like a heart, which is a different attack in the manga. The Venus, I mean the rolling heart vibration. Here's her transformation and her awakening from Artemis. Here's Helios. The Amazon Trio. Sino, Time, and Zeolite. Sino Time and Zeolite. Ooh, Sailor Venus killed these two with her attack. How impressive is that? Your Amazon Quartet. Okay, world shaking in the in the movie was the most impressive attack. Like super impressive. Like the, I think one of the animators or producers favored her over the rest of the centuries. <laughs> There's Space Sword Blaster and her transformation. There's Super Sailor Neptune, Deep Submerge, Submarine Reflection, and her transformation. There's Super Sailor Pluto. There's Dead Scream. I wish they would have showed. Cronus Typhoon and the movies too. There's Super Sailor Saturn. She finally got her transformation after, well, more than 20 years. Although the transformation was very short, but at least it's now official. She finally has one. Her attacks, their silence glaze surprise and silence wall. Oxida Mass. Mm-hmm. This is the scenes from the final battle. And all of the senshi's combined her powers and awaken eternal sailor moon. And with all of the powers scattered, they have unlocked their eternal costumes. Here they are. It's all uniform now, except for the colors. They have the same earrings, necklace, shoes. And this is their princess forms. That beautiful. Pretty, pretty yellow gown. And the outer senshi, sail, solar, sailor princesses. And the human forms of the three cats. And of course, I've seen this, Neil, Queen Serenity, and King Endymion. I wonder why they didn't, give, they didn't give Queen Serenity a crown here. And these are their chibi forms when during the, the christening of Princess Serenity back in the moon. There's Queen Serenity here. 
she was the one who who sealed Nahalania inside that mirror. There's Princess Lady Serenity. This will be Chibusa's future form. Now the asteroid Senshi. These are their sailor forms. There's Zirconia, Queen Nahalania. artwork Some merchandise that are available to purchase. And this was the, the final scene and hopefully they will do a the final arc, the stars arc. that's what's inside the Sailor Moon Eternal art book. I hope you had a good time going through the pages with me and looking at your favorite characters. Well, favorite characters, mine is Sailor Venus or Minako. And that's it for today's video. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.